so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to do a speed test comparison between the iphone 14 pro max and the ipad pro m1 so this is the m1 chip and it is a 10.9 inch variant which i have and today we are going to do a speed comparison ram management and boot up of both of these devices and we'll look whether the a16 bionic is faster or the m1 chip on the ipad beats the a16 bionic on the 14 pro max so if you haven't subscribed to my channel do consider subscribing it and like the video if you like it and let's get right into it so let's get started with the boot up guys in 3 2 go let's see which device boots up faster So it was slightly faster on 14 Pro Max as you can see compared to the iPad Pro M1. So that was the boot up speed of both these devices. So let's get started with the speed test. Both the devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi networks as you can see and, and everything is closed in the background. So let's start with some basic applications starting with calendar that was about the same on both the devices. Now let's move on to clock that was slightly faster on 14 Pro Max and you can see the animations on both these devices they are very smooth both of them refresh at 120Hz as you can see they are very smooth to use and no issues while scrolling on both these devices. Now let's move on to settings that was slightly faster on 14 Pro Max now let's move on to app store that was also slightly faster on 14 pro max let's move on to games that was slightly faster on 14 pro max the reason it is slightly faster might be due to the reason that the ipad has to load more content as compared to the 14 pro max and you can see the scrolling speed scrolling speed it is very smooth on both the devices As you can see it was slightly faster on 14 Pro Max. Now let's move on to Apple Maps. That was again slightly faster on 14 Pro Max as you can see. Now let's move on to camera. Again that was slightly faster on 14 Pro Max. As you can see I am shooting on my Galaxy Note 9. Now let's move on to weather. That was also slightly faster on 14 Pro Max. Finally, Apple has launched weather application on its iPad. Now let's move on to Freeform. That was slightly faster on 14 Pro Max. Now let's move on to YouTube. That was again slightly faster on 14 Pro Max. Now let's move on to Microsoft Word. That was about the same on both the devices. Now let's move on to Economist. That was again slightly faster on 14 Pro Max. Now let's move on to ChatGPT. That was slightly faster on the iPad. Now let's move on to Speedtest. That was again slightly faster on 14 Pro Max. Now let's move on to Amazon that was faster on 14 Pro Max. Now let's move on to Google Chrome that was about the same on both the devices. Let's search for apple.com. Let's hit go. That was slightly faster on 14 Pro Max. Let's go to official site. Again that was slightly faster on 14 Pro Max. Now one last application PowerPoint and that was again slightly faster on 14 Pro Max. So as you can see the speed test between both these devices the 14 Pro Max is slightly faster than the iPad Pro with M1 chip 
so overall it was only slight difference between both these devices when it's come to when it comes to app opening test now let's start with the ram management so the 14 pro max actually comes with 6 gb of ram while the ipad pro the m1 version comes with 8 gb of ram so let's see who wins the ram management test here and i personally feel that both these devices would be similar in ram management because 6 and 8 gb ram is more than enough for apple devices but let's see which one does it better so let's open clock first that was there in memory on both the devices calendar that was also kept in memory by both the devices settings that was also kept in memory by both the devices app store that was also kept in memory by both the devices apple maps that was also kept in memory by both the devices weather that was also kept in memory by both the devices so the ram management is very good on both these devices as they have plenty of ram as you can see youtube that was again kept in memory by both the devices and you can see both these devices are very smooth to use due to the 120hz refresh rate on these devices now let's move on to economist that was also kept in memory by both the devices chat gpt that was also kept in memory by both the devices speed test same amazon that was also kept in memory by both the devices chrome that was again kept in memory by both the devices and our last application powerpoint so that was the speed comparison between both these devices and both these devices are very good with when it comes to app opening test as well as ram management so if you have any questions regarding both these devices then do let me know in the comment section below and which next speed test do you want to see do let me know in the comment section below and that was it for this video guys thank you for watching this video